Hey, in this tutorial today, what we're going to do is we're not going to actually really play around with any photographs. So maybe this won't be a lot of fun. But what we're going to do is create a tool that we can use in the future for processing our uh, photographs. And um, I thought I'd begin with an action and lear learning how to create an action. So what we're going to do today is create a brand new action. And we're going to create an action for the lab conversion for saturation. So the first thing we need to do is set up the action. We're going to create uh, a new set. So we're going to hit this icon right here, and we're going to create this. Well, we'll yeah, I don't know what we'll call this. Uh, every action that goes in here will have to do. Let's see, perform certain functions. So we'll call this one color, uh, color corrections. Maybe how's that? and click OK. Now that's not the action itself, that's just every action under this will have something to do with color corre uh, corrections. So now we need to create the new action. This will be our first one and this icon here is to create the new action. So we'll hit that here and now we need to name this one. We're going to call this one uh, Lab Saturation. How's that? And I'm going to make sure that it goes un under the new set of uh, uh, actions we just created called Call Corrections. And hit Record. Okay. Now, I've already done this in a, a previous tutorial, but just for the sake of uh, creating an action, we're going to go through this again. Okay, we're going to go up to Image, Mode. We're going to convert this to a lab color. And you can see that, follow along in here, in the actions, it already con says convert to mode. All right. So anyway, next thing we need to do is bring up our curves dialog box, which is Control M. Okay. Now, if you don't already have a 10 by 10 square in your curves dialog box, just hold down the Control key, and I'm um, not the Control key, the Alt key, uh, the Alt key, excuse me, and and just click in the, in the grid square, and that'll bring it uh, 10 by 10. So anyway, next thing we need to do is go to the A channel, and we're going to grab this little little uh, box up here and move this over two boxes. Go down to the bottom and do the move this over to the right two boxes. We're going to visit the B channel now, and we're going to do the same thing we did to the A channel. And we're going to go up here, and move this over two boxes down here and over to the right two boxes and click OK. Next thing we need to do is stop our action because oh no 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 <laughs> we gotta go one last thing go up to image mode and now we need to convert this back to RGB and let me just make sure that it did that yep it did that and now we can stop our action Stop. There we go. So, if I go back into history, that was our original image. Now let's just run the action to see how, just how, how that works here. So I'm going to highlight the lab uh, saturation and I'm going to click the play button and see what happens. There she goes. That was it. And let's see if I, if I go back in there, into the history panel and now watch if I play this again watch what happens to the history uh, as I do this there we go so this was the image before and that's the image after and I hope that helped you learn how to create an action thank you